Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As y'all seen by the title, today will be something really interesting and really fucking funny because I bet y'all was not expecting this. I wasn't expecting this. I didn't really know if I was going to do it for real because there's so many other story times like this regarding like same sex shit that happened to me and I choose not to post it because one, this is a Christian channel, but one, it's all love over here. It's no judgment. It's no, no like baby do what you do as long as it's not regarding me that's the easiest way i break it out i do not discriminate i do not judge that's not my place simple as that like what you do is what you do that's between you and god simple okay and then two last time i did some videos like this i'm sexual like a man and a man or me just calling like the me just calling the stud a dyke not really knowing like that was really offensive I'm tired of going back and forth with y'all. Y'all be too fucking sensitive around this topic. And I'm just like, not for the people, please. I am going to be very respectful because no one deserves to just be like disrespected. It's very uncalled for. So I am going to be extremely respectful. Okay. For my own reasons, because I just don't feel like it's a need to be disrespectful. Three. So with that being said, I really hope it aligned with you and y'all. Another disclaimer. I am human. I had some... I had some Christians, and I'm going to say Christians in a way of, like, the judgmental ones, the ones that want you to follow, like, everything to a T and not make no type of sin when God said that you're not perfect and you're going to sin. I'm heterosexual, y'all. I got a man. I love my man. I love my man down, but I love you. You're my everything. So don't get to the comments thinking that this is that or even having an assumption in your mind. Maybe I been locked. You see the rock you see the rock it's not too hard to miss okay and y'all i look i might look crazy my hair is not really brushed out because it's literally seven in the morning i had to get up really early to handle some stuff and i figured let's get this video out it's been five days since i uploaded so i gotta get on my shit for real a bitch just been feeling but with that being said let's go ahead and get into the word of the day did we miss that part in the bible Okay, I had some of y'all come in my comments telling me, you don't feel bad for cussing, you don't feel bad for all this, and da da da, da. Yes, I feel bad. Yes, I know it's something I have to work on. Girl, I can point out my flaws, and that's between me and God. It's not that I don't care or I'm just, like, making a mockery of God. I will never do that. We do sin and we do make mistakes. We do fall short. Let's not forget that part of the Bible, okay? Because what you be doing? You put your life on. You, you do a video. And let me see what you be doing. Let's not do all of that. Okay, pray for me and say, God, help her. That's it. That's it. And only have good intentions. I'm so for real. But that was a very long intro. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So, y'all, we're going to take this back to, I don't know, probably 2014, 15. I don't know, y'all. I really don't. I don't, I don't know. But I just remember I was super young that I could tell y'all I was not in high school. I think I was still in middle school. So let's just start off this story with me being 12 years old. Okay, and that's really young. I know that's really young, but I was 12. This did take probably like two to three years to happen, like, but it was like some warm up. So I got to bring y'all back to when I was 12. So the main girl in the story time, we just going to call her Lisa or Alyssa. I don't know, whichever one I go forth with. Um, So when I first met Lisa, I'm going to just go with Lisa. All right. When I first met Lisa, I had met her through my mom and her mom. Our moms was like really cool friends, like really good friends. I guess you want to say, y'all know how people be like, like family friends. Me and Lisa had met each other at church because me and my mom had just moved to a new area. And we was kind of just being around the people who we knew tongue twister we was kind of being around the people we knew and lisa mom and lisa and her sister was one of them um so we was always around them church hopping trying to find a good church home all of that and me and lisa me and lisa was really cool from like the outside i like i was drawn to lisa only because she was like a super girly girl and y'all i'm an extreme girly girl like i love being girl i i i, I take this shit serious i love my lashes done i love i love it I love it to the T. So when I seen that she was in dance and she always dressed up girly and all this extra Ray Ray, I kind of was like, okay, this is a good friend to make. And y'all, I was not shy to making friends back then. Y'all, when I tell y'all I had health friends, I was, y'all was popping. 
this before trust issues and all that stuff was in place like y'all life was great back then with female friends so we had talked me and lisa had talked and we actually like fucked with each other if that makes sense like it wasn't no like weirdness like i was like okay she's cool we could be friends with her so so after a few months of us meeting and our moms like really getting more comfortable with one another we end up having a sleepover y'all i was not shy to sleepovers because back then and i am talking with my hands because my nails is done and my ring looks good okay so my mama was not you know opposed to me having sleepovers i do want to say my mom have really good intuition i think that's why this shit really didn't happen for real, for real because my mama intuition all right so I didn't have sleepovers before and it was all cool. Nothing happened from those sleepovers. Only this one, ironically, right? So we went, had my sleepover, my mom packed my stuff. And y'all, I used to always like vet people out. I'm one of those people who will say, I don't stay at sleepovers for very long if I feel uncomfortable or if I don't like something or if I don't got a fucking blanket. Because I don't have sleepovers like that before where it's like, I get there and there's no blanket, there's no bed. Like, what am I actually doing? I'm not sleeping on this floor. So I'm always quick to call my mama in the middle of the night and guess what? She quick to come pick me up. So I already kind of had it in my mind. Like, I'm going over here, but if I don't like it, I already, I already got my own speed out. And she knew, the, she knew the drill. She knew the drill. So I get there and I see Lisa and, you know, we're like making small talk, kind of just like enjoying the vibe, like kind of having a few laughs. I don't remember what was funny back then. I was 12, but it was just, it was fine. It was all fine and dandy. So I don't know, y'all. I have a very strong sense of like sexual awareness, if that makes sense. Like I know, like if I'm uncomfortable one and just like in general, I know when a person want to be like very intimate and sexual with me. Like, y'all, I trust me, I know I done been through some shit when I was younger, so it's like, I have that awareness. So, I could already feel, like, the vibe from Lisa, like, okay, this was the regular, like, you know, princess tea party fashion show type of vibe. It, it definitely gave, like, oh, I'm so happy that you're here, come lay in my bed type of vibes, and let's, like, cuddle. I swear to God. And it wasn't on no best friend shit where we're laying in the bed, watching a movie and eating and we're just talking shit about people. No, it, it gave like she was trying to be my man and no one can ever be my motherfucking man. Upset my man. Like so. Around this time, it was like night time. I had, you know, brushed my teeth to my child, all that. And I had came out like with some really cute pink pajamas. Like, you know, like some dressy girl shit. And I was expecting her to do the same because normally at sleepovers, like, we do our biggest one and just really cute and then come out and do our, you know, little nails, fashion show, our lashes, our hair, and just, like, have girl talk. But, no, this nigga came out looking like a whole man. And I'm, like, this girl came out looking like a whole nigga. What I'm talking about shorts you know like she fit the whole requirement like how a little boy be dressing in the house like the high um ankle socks the long shorts the oversized shirt her hair pulled back like when i said she was really fit in the role she was really fit in the role so imagine my surprise when i'm looking like damn like this can't be lisa not tutu lisa not tutu tutu pink all out nails done Hair always done slip back with a bow. Lisa, this can't be Lisa. No way, no way, no way. It's not Lisa. So I was like, oh, like, I didn't really know how to react. Most of the time, like, back then, I kept a lot of things in. Like, I was very observant. But this time, I had to say something. I was like, why you got that on? I was like, why you got that on? She was like, oh, I just feel more comfortable in this. I was like, oh, you don't got nothing like what I got? Because I thought it was, you know, but I have like a sleepover, like a girl sleepover. And she was like, no, I don't have none of that. Like, I just, this is what I pick out for myself. And I and I just brought up like, you know, at church, like outside, like home, I be seeing you always dress up like a little girl and you be looking like really cute. I'm pretty sure I wear it different back then, but to like basically to shorten it that's what i end up saying she was like no all my all those clothes my mom picked out for me i don't really get to pick out what i want to wear <clears throat> when she said that i knew when she said that i knew i was like okay she's gay like i don't know i just knew i just knew i was like okay like the girly clothes you never pick out and your mom pick it out for you all right bet call my mother <laughs> I swear to God. I was not playing. I was not playing. I was not risking it. 
bitch, I'm not finna sit in no situation if I know like somebody gonna try to do something to me that I don't like. I'm not attracted to this. I don't like this, bitch. I'm here. I brought like when I tell you I used to bring my makeup to sleepovers, I was ready. So what do you mean you wanna be a little boy? What do you mean you're not comfortable being a girl? Now it would have been different if she was like, oh my tomboy. And y'all, I, I, I dress like a tomboy half the time. Like when I'm in the house and there's people that I love and know and trust, yeah, listen, listen, they don't see me looking crazy, but they know what it is at the end of the day. So I call my mama. My mom come get me. Oh, her stomach hurt. Oh, you know, a little excuse. Cool. Few months had went by. Actually, let me say a year had went by. A year had went by, but in these years, we was always talking to one another, and I would always like talk to her. She would always want to hang out, and I always used like never respond or be like, "Oh, something happened with my phone." And y'all, some day have my phone. That's another story, time. So, I think maybe a year had passed. Yeah, a year and a half had passed. It was her birthday. So now we're at like our prime age. I'm probably like thirteen, almost fourteen now. And I want to note that she was a year and a a year, uh, she was probably like a year or two older than me, maybe. Let's just say that because I don't remember us being the same age. Okay, so I'm probably like 14, 13, 14. She probably like 15, 16. She's having a birthday party. She invited some of her homegirls and we were going to like a resort. And y'all, the resorts consist of just like water. So most of the time it's just like bikini. It was really hot. It was really you know, human, so we was all wearing, like, short shit, and y'all, I always had a body, so ass always been here, titties always been here, waist always been snatched, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, so I can only imagine that that was just, like, a perfect sight for her, so we get there, and off rip, when I kind of walk into, like, the resort, like, the home and stuff, um, she's in, what is it called, um, those, Ethicas, she's in Ethicas, and she has like a oversized t-shirt on and y'all i just want to know the only reason i was so bothered by what she was wearing or what she wore like throughout this whole video is because it just seemed like anytime that i came around her she would want to dress like really 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 masculine and be like really masculine around me like personality wise and just like overdoing it trying to be like a boy or to fit any type of like whatever like that she know that i'm attracted to because she knew i wasn't attracted to girls so that's the only reason why i was so uncomfortable and i just kept mentioning her clothing because i knew she was intentionally doing it for me to be honest i don't really know what the fuck to say but i was like all right because i was already i felt like i was made to go because she kept calling my mama basically wanting me to go so bad and my mama just didn't want to hear it no more. So she was like, do you mind going? And I, and I went, all right. So I didn't do too much when I seen her in them. Only because around that time, girls was wearing ethicals like booty shorts. And they one day asked to jiggle and shit for the man. So I was like, okay, a little sus, but it could be that. Y'all remember how females used to twerk in ethicals and all that shit? Yeah, like just think like that. It was that era. So we get there and I just remember like, Throughout the whole resort weekend, I'm like in my bikini and stuff. And she's always complimenting me, always hanging up on me and stuff. Like, you know, got her hand around me and stuff. And, you know, want to hold me and just do all this little like relationship type shit. And I'm not going to lie. It was like one day my daddy had came up there because I was like, daddy, I need some money. I was young and he pulled up Um, and then he seen her. And he see how he was, she was holding me. And he was like, what's going on with that? I was like, I don't know. Like, I really don't know. They all know how I was. So it wasn't given, oh, my daughter is like gay. It was a lot of times that I had to like move the fuck out of the way because she was trying to touch my ass or like grip on me. Like she thought shit like that was funny. Like, oh, like, let me hold you. Like, oh my God, let me help fix your bra and just like play. Like, you know, I was not going for none of that shit. So... Let's skip another year past. I would say another few months past, right? It's the sleepover that did it for me. We had the sleepover. And I I feel like I have videos. I have videos, matter of fact, because I'm gonna put them in the video. I'm gonna put them in the video because last video, y'all try to be like, oh, the story ain't real, it's no receipts. Wah, wah, wah. Here go y'all receipts. Okay. So y'all at this point, I was like way older. Let's just say I was like I don't know how old I was, but I was like 
few months older and i'm more experienced with like sex and everyone my age know what the fuck sex is now and they're not scared to like talk about it so this girl she had me in her room i was sitting in her room and one thing about me bitch i record everything bitch if anything if anything happens to me check that phone because it's gonna be a video on that phone so i'm recording her she got me on the bed and i'm just like sitting on the bed and like i said she switched out to being a nigga again like she got her nigga clothes on and all that i'm looking in her room she got clone and just like all these little extra shit she did used to play y'all i'm actually she did used to play um sports and stuff so she did have like some sports stuff like fires hung up in her room which didn't really alarm me because it's like okay you play sports like everybody need to see like their motivation and stuff but it did alarm me because it was her like i already kind of knew like what the fuck she was on so it was like uh so she had a little sister named um i don't know emily or some shit emily and when i tell y'all the whole night i feel like emily knew like emily was trying to save my ass emily just kept coming in the room like every time like every time it was just, like me and her in the room she would like sit on the bed and y'all know when y'all look at somebody like y'all like them like you know what I mean? Like, she was looking at me, and she started asking me questions. Like, oh, do I want to play a game? Do I want to do all of that? So, I ended up saying, like, yeah, like, I mean, this is the first time we actually had a sleepover again that sang, that seemed regular. So, she ended up playing, like, Never Have I Ever, Truth or Dare, like, all those little cards. Like, all those cards. And they had, like, sexual, like, like, some of them was, like, funny, but some of them was, like, have you ever did this? You know what I mean? So... It was a card that came up and it was like, um, never have I ever been with the same girl with, with the same sex. Like, no, it was like, never have I ever been with a girl. And I was like, no, I have not. Have you? And as soon as she was about to answer, um, the Emily had walked in. She just kept getting mad at Emily, kept getting mad at Emily, kicking her out and actually locked the door. I was like, uh, uh, this is a little too intense now. Cause what the fuck? So she ended up saying, um, I don't want to answer that and ended up smiling. I was like, okay, like, bitch, I'm not dumb. I know what the fuck that mean. And then she just, it, the questions just kept getting really intense. Like, never, ever, ever will be with a girl or ever tried to be with a girl or think they like a girl. Like, shit like that. It was like always girl, 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 girl. And then she finally had asked me. She was like, um, you ever, she was like, are you sexual? Have you done anything yet? And y'all, my business is my tea. So, no. You don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I said, no. She said, oh, um, that's crazy. I said, why? She was like, oh, because I am. I was like, okay. <laughs> the fuck that got to do with me? Keep your tea to yourself. So, she ended up saying, um, yeah, I, I actually, um, I actually been with a girl before. She ended up confessing and shit. And she's like closer to me now. So it's like the game is over. And it's kind of just like me and her talking. And she's like right beside me. And she was like, yeah, um, I gave this girl a head and all of that. And, you know, basically just saying like the sexual shit she did with a girl. And she was like, have you ever had a head? And I'm like, no, because y'all, I do want to say this. I, I do want to say this. I was not getting head. Like, I just did not play that shit. I was just thinking too much, like, damn, like, a, a mouth is so dirty, and you might fuck my pH balance up. You might, like, I, everything that you can think of, like, overthinking head, I did that. So, I did not play that head shit. So, I was like, no, I never had head before. And it was kind of, like, intense. Like, I wasn't, like, being, like, aggressive, but I was like, no, I never had head before. And she was like, do you want to have head? Do you want to get head? Do you want to see what it's like? I was like, no. And so, no, she was like... Do you wanna um do you wanna get head? Like, do you wanna see what it's like? Because you know with the boy is different. With the girl is more like, you know, intense, like you can actually like feel it for real. Her sister again had came in, right? I'm saying thank you, Emily, because Emily, thank you, Emily. I don't even think Emily knew what the fuck she was doing, but she was saving a bitch. So I remember her mom ended up calling us out. And I do wanna say I feel like her mom knew, which is like the grimy part about it, because you knew. It had been, like, several times that I had went shopping with them and the mom would want to pick out, like, 
clothes for her to wear outside and she'll be like mom I'm not trying to wear that and pick out like some boy shit so it's like the mom kind of knew she was gay I, I'm not gonna put that shit past her but when she kind of like came out her room and realized that um Lisa door was closed she was like uh-uh y'all come out here y'all come out here y'all come out here so I'm like all right she, 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 you gotta tell me I bet I was gone in the jiffy I'm on the couch so I have this video and I just remember it was like her just like playing with the toothbrush in her mouth, like, being real sexual. And she was like, ah! I got to censor that out. <laughs> I got to censor that out. But just know she was doing the e-cam, th um, tongue, and just all that shit with the toothbrush, like, pretending like it was the, you know, our little, our little pearl, our little pearl. And I was just like, no way, this bitch is weird. <laughs> like, in my head. And then, like, later on that night, um, we end up, like, obviously, we had to sleep in the same room together, y'all. So, I'm, like, I'm, like, scared as a bitch. I'm, like, oh, hell no. Like, I I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know about this. And it was, like, other shit that she was doing. Like, after she brushed her teeth, it was, like, other sexual shit that she was doing towards me. And she was, like, winking at me, like, letting it be known that this bitch was trying to get, like, she really trying to get me she was on a shark timing bro so i'm just like whoa like how am i gonna get through this night because y'all i could call for my mama but i don't know i think it was, i think i had promised her i was gonna be there or some shit i don't know i don't know i'm always in some awkward ass position with weird people so after that i kind of just was like all right i gotta wrap this shit up asap and luckily my mama called she was like um i'm gonna come pick you up right now and i was like um okay normally i'm mad because it's like why would you ruin my night girl like you told me i could come and now you're trying to get me back girl back back but this time i was like all right i'll be ready and guess who was ready my mom was 10 minutes down the road guess who was ready me the fuck and i was going and ever since then it was like she kept trying like Alyssa kept trying to like text me and call me and she was like i really want to see you again i want to show you something i know you say you're not attracted to girls or like girls but i want to show you something like you know like we've been knowing each other like all this little sweet talk to get my <sighs> to get my little pants all right so and then y'all i kind of end up switching my phones and losing like a lot of like contact with her which is just mwah, like perfect and my mom, honestly, like, a few years ago, literally, probably, like, a few, like, three, my mom was like, yeah, I had to come get you that night. Like, something just did not feel right. And I just been knowing, like, I've been feeling like that girl was gay, and I didn't want her to turn you out. Thank you, mother. Thank you, mother. That's the one time I was actually happy that she, she crashed my shit because, y'all, saved by an angel sent from heaven because i don't know i really don't know how i would have got out of that situation because this girl was really aggressive like when i say on a day-to-day -day, she would like when like hug up on me and like do shit like like intimate shit it felt like that and it was like so many times i could get out of it because there was other people around so just me and her in the room together i don't know how that shit would have went down and i wasn't going for it so one of us was gonna be hurt and i know the fuck it was gonna be me but y'all, that was my story time. I hope it was interesting. Um, and I love y'all. I have other juicy story times, but y'all gotta let me know if y'all want that. And I'll see y'all in the next video.